The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is here and it's time to face the truth. The truth will set you free and of course help you make the decision whether you want to buy this handsome son of a gun or not. So the Note 9, it's the best Samsung phone ever made. In fact, it's the best Android phone you can buy right now. And I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being the best overall phone of the year. The last year's model was great as well. It was my best phone of the year. And to be able to add more to that already amazing phone is pretty amazing. I know some people are saying that it's a minor upgrade over the Note 8, etc. Yes, it is. And that's not a bad thing. We have seen companies like Apple drag the same design for four years. And besides, I've noticed that people are kind of expecting a lot from Samsung here. They want innovation or major breakthroughs, major design changes every year, which is simply not possible. It's a simple pattern of Samsung phones. You see big changes in design with one generation, then it's the same generation with corrected flaws and better specification, and then you see a big design change. The Galaxy Note 9 is the correction of that awesome phone that happened last year. While these changes are awesome, they also come at a huge price. It is the best and the most feature-packed Samsung phone you can buy right now, but it's definitely, definitely not for everyone. First up, the existence of the Galaxy Note 8. The users of the Note 8, this is not for you. In my honest opinion, as much as I like the Galaxy Note 9 and its changes, the Galaxy Note 8 is still the best Samsung phone overall for everyone because it has the best value for the money at the moment. It shares the same DNA as the Note 9 and it's going to be so, so much cheaper. You can get a Galaxy Note 8 in about $600 range and used Note 8 is even more cheaper. So you can save almost four to $500 worth of money compared to near $1,000 price of the Note 9. And that saved up money can be used six months later when Samsung announced the best phone that most of people are waiting for, which is going to be the Samsung Galaxy S10 family. So the truth is that anyone who's the existing user of the Note 8 or anyone who want the best Samsung phone for the money, then I would say close your eyes and buy the Galaxy Note 8. I own both Snapdragon and Exynos version of the phones. I've used these more than my S9 Plus. And as the user of Note 8, I can honestly say that it is still worth the money. You'll get Android Buy update on this. And of course the Android Q update in the future on the Note 8. So it's not like it's outdated or anything. It's still relevant because its design is similar to the Note 9. So no matter which Samsung phone you're using, the Note 8 is the sweet spot for the budget and at the same time you're not losing on the specs too much. In about six months, Samsung will be unleashing the Galaxy S10 family. It's going to have so many awesome features that honestly are worth the wait. The seven nanometer processors, triple cameras, in-display fingerprint scanner, three models to choose from, great diversity, Gorilla Glass 6 or Samsung's unbreakable display tech. There's so much that is coming with the 10th anniversary, honestly, Waiting six or five months seems worth it to me. But if you can't wait and you don't plan on buying the Galaxy S10 and you have the budget, then go for the Note 9. It is a solid phone with a solid battery, everything you would expect from a 2018 phone, the present era phone is here uh, with this device. Again, if you have the budget for it, an S10 is not the target. Otherwise, a used Note 8 and a couple of months of wait is a great option too. In that way, you could go for the Galaxy S10 later on. So that is the truth about the Note 9. Hopefully this will help you to take the decision whether you wanna purchase this phone or spend less on the Note 8 and go for the Galaxy S10 six months later. The truth is here. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, what do you think about the Galaxy Note 9? And, and a huge shout out to Lars from All About Samsung. Uh, dude actually sent me his uh, video files from the event and uh, let me use it here on the channel. So a huge, huge thank you to Lars from all about Samsung uh, YouTube channel. You can check his uh, things out in the description. Stay tuned for all the test coverage that is coming regarding the Galaxy Note 9 on your way. And in the meantime, I will be making one exciting video that I wanna make before I do all that stuff. So make sure to stay tuned for all the coverage and especially the mega battery drain test that I planned uh, for the coming days. So make sure, make sure to subscribe. Lots of awesome content coming and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.